Hello and welcome. Today we're looking at the Linux shell, um, and I'm working in Z shell, but what we're looking at today is aliases, and this should work in pretty much any shell you're working in, whether it's Bash, Fish, Z shell, Ash shell. Um, so we're going to be looking at aliases, and if you don't know what an alias is, basically you can take a command and create a shorter version of that. And very commonly you put this into your RC file, which is your the file that runs every time you start a shell. Uh, so for example, if I type ls, it lists the files in my directory. I can type in ls-lha, gives me a full list, even of hidden files with more information, you know, who owns it, what group owns it, what permissions are on it, size, date, time, that sort of thing. So uh, with that, if I wanted to, let's say every time I ran this, I wanted it to look like this, I can easily do that. I can just say alias ls equals and parentheses I'll say ls dash la l h a and now anytime I run ls in this shell it's going to run that um, if I open up a new shell down here and type ls you see it's still that I didn't put it in my in my RC file so it's not loading every time I start a new shell but up in this shell where we ran it uh, it's it's safe so again ls um, but let's say you did set that and you set that to always start in your shell. Now you're working in the shell and you go all else and you go, oh wait, you know, this, this one time I don't want it to list like that. I want to uh, make it so that I can get the regular output, which is just the list of the files without the, um, the long list. So we can do this so again, ls up here still gives me the full list. And what I'm going to do is there's other options. I can do forward slash ls or sorry, backslash ls, uh, which will tell it to run the standard ls. It's saying ignore aliases. Other options are putting the command inside quotations, either single or double, do the same thing. I can also give the full path. So for list, it's in your bin folder. So forward slash bin forward slash ls gives us that output. Again, if I do ls, the alias is still set, but with any of those options, I can um, easily get it to run like the native command would. Uh, another option would be the command command, which I've gone over before. You type command ls. The command does other things as well, but that's one way to make sure. It's kind of a longer way than the other ways. Uh, I think, I guess, the quickest would be the uh, backslash ls, because uh, it only adds one character. We're putting it in quotes, whether single or double are going to uh, add two characters, typing out the full path. Typing out the full path is a good idea, especially when you're running command from a script. Just make sure you're running the, the correct version in the script because you may not be there when the script's running. Uh, so I would say the best solution as far as accuracy is typing out the full path to the program you want to run. Uh, but the shortest, if you're actually sitting at the shell, just the backslash and the command. Uh, so that is how you can disable it. Now, let's say for the rest of the session, so that's just you know, again, if I type ls without any of that, in this session it is still doing the alias. You can always do unalias ls, and now alias is going to go back to uh, whatever the default alias is. Uh, now you might notice uh, there's no color coding to this. I actually have aliases set up for my shell uh, where if I type in ls, it actually color codes them for me. Um, color codes, color codes, color codes. Uh, but uh, since I unalias, not only unaliased the alias I created in there, it uncreated, undid all aliases for ls. So it's going back to the plain, very default ls command here. But again, this is just in this session. When I open up a new session, ls went back to, in this case, the alias that I have set in my RC file. So if you have aliases set and you need to uh, disable them uh, temporarily, either for one time or for the rest of that session in that shell, now you know how to do that. And again, that last one was unalias, which is going to unalias it for the rest of that session in that shell, where all the other ones were for an instance. I do thank you for watching. I hope you found this useful. Please visit my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There's a link in the description. Uh, if you enjoy my videos, think about becoming a supporter over at patreon.com forward slash melix1000. There's a link in the description there. You can also search my website. There's a link at the top of my website for support where you can support me through PayPal or Patreon. Uh, if you can't support me financially, think about sharing, liking, subscribing, commenting, all that fun stuff. And as always, I thank you for watching and I hope that you have a great day.